hey guys and welcome back to my channel i have not filmed in i want to say like almost two weeks i went on vacation and i had to pre-record certain videos in order to be able to have some content for you guys so i really focused that very last week before vacation on editing and uploading that way i can schedule these videos to go live while i was on my cruise vacation um i am exhausted <laughs> I need a vacation from my vacation. Um, you might have seen this top before and my makeup is a little worn out, I would say. Um, considering I've had it on for about 12 hours already. This is um, the makeup I wore today for work. But I did not want to postpone this unboxing anymore. I received this box Friday last week. Today is Monday. Um, but with the holidays and all that extraness, you already know. Um, I, I was just busy um, going to events with the little one for Easter egg hunts. So I grabbed my scissors and I just opened it up. Now I do have an idea what is inside um, the box just because I've seen other people's uh, pictures and posts on their uh, social media. But um, I have not opened mine. Now I did see my co-worker's box today um, and it's a very interesting box. I'm actually pretty excited over it. What is this? It's like something greasy on my box. What is that? I don't know. Anyway, let's move forward. So this month, the theme is, so this is the box, and the theme is, I'm trying to keep this box open. I have a mess of beauty stuff here, and I'm not going to lie, I just cleaned that out, but I have a mess over here. I've been unpacking from vacation, and I took a lot of makeup, so I'm trying to sort everything back uh back into its own place um so this month so april's uh theme was boho glow and uh, can you see that yeah so that's pretty cute okay so the one big thing i was gonna say wait i'm missing something um the one big thing that i see here is this project beauty hair girt it's strawberry banana smoothing yogurt shampoo with prebiotics, quinoa, and super botanicals for beautiful hair, sulfate and paraffin free. And it is 118 mLs or 4 fluid ounces. I want to smell this. So I believe, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to kind of open these and kind of feel them and see how that goes. Um, I can't, why do I always have issues opening things? Um, but I am going to follow up with the video actually trying the products. Oh, that smells good. I don't like strawberry stuff, but this is strawberry banana. Hi. That actually smells really good. Mmm, come smell this. Does that smell good? Yes, it smells like strawberries. So the very next thing in our box is this set of concealers. It's a 16 color pro concealer palette. And it's from Measurable Difference. That's the brand of it. Measurable Difference. And it says Concealer Collection. I, ooh, the little plastic slip thing just completely slid off. But I like that the back has swatches. So it gives you an idea of the colors that are inside. What they would look like in terms of like the tones and the names of the concealers. Um, I took the little plastic paper out. Dang, but my box looks like it's been scratched or something. I mean, I know it's new because I just took this out, but anyway, so this is what the concealer palette looks like, and it has a variety of colors for all skin tones, which I think is amazing. Um, I think this would be perfect for anyone who is an aspiring makeup artist or currently a makeup artist doing freelance on the side, and it would be great if you've never tried their brand just because it gives you an idea of what color you need if you wanted to order a full size if they have that. I don't know if they do, but I'm just saying. So I'm typically ginger. I'm going to swatch that one. And I'm going to swatch cappuccino. And then I want to go, well, the ginger didn't, let me see. Okay, and then I'm going to go with the dark one, espresso. And see... Now, sometimes finger swatches are not as great as brush swatches and then vice versa. So, um, here is the espresso. Oh, that's good. Here is, which one is this one? This is the cappuccino. And this is the ginger. 
So they're pretty pigmented. I'm wondering what it would look like when you apply it with a brush and blend it out. I would, Like I said, I will be trying these out in a follow-up video just to actually, because my face is already done. I just wanted to get this video out to you guys. Um, but they're pretty opaque. The swatches are pretty opaque. I wonder what it would look like, though, applied, blended out, and set, and the, the, the wear of it, how long it would last. So I'm going to give these a try, and I like that the palette is actually magnetic. So that's, that's a good one. That's a really good one. Next, we got a lip gloss from Cargo Cosmetics, and this one is in the color Taos, or Taos. I want to say Taos. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, it's a nudie color. I'm going to apply that now. Let's see. So it's a very sheer nude color. Oh, it's sticky. Hmm. It smells a little sweet. It's not opaque at all, so it's a very sheer um, lip gloss with a little bit of shimmer to it. But it's not in your face. This would be a nice top coat if you wanted some shimmer on a lipstick, but you don't want to change the color. We also got this highlighter wheel by Ofra, and it is in a Rodeo Drive. The crazy part about it is, I've been wanting this highlighter for a while, but every time I try to go get it, it's been sold out. I even wanted a set, and I want to say that when it came out, it was a set of like three highlighters for about $40. And I said, I'm just going to bite the bullet and get it just because I want Rodeo Drive. But for whatever reason, every time I'm like, I remember that I want Rodeo Drive, it happens to be sold out. So when I saw that this was coming in our boxy charm, I was super excited because I think these are about $35. So the fact that I got this in a box and the box is not $35 is amazing. Um, so I'm just going to swatch this quickly and then I'll give you guys a full effect in the follow-up video. Um, I'm going to do the swatch up here. That is a real, like that's a crazy highlighter. Wow. And last but not least, we got a trio of sponges by Pure Cosmetics. So apparently these are contour sponges. Um, I have not tried them. I'm feeling them now and actually I'm going to, and I love that we got three. I thought we were going to get one, but no, we got three and in different colors. And I don't have any in these colors. I have pinks, but I don't have any in these colors. So you know what? In, for the sake of what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the green one just for comparison's sake. So basically they all have the same shape, they're all the same size right now, and they are like teardrop, but then they have this flat surface, which I get why the contour, but I like this because it's not like the Real Techniques, whereas the Real Techniques is a little wider at the top. This one is literally still teardrop shape, it's just flat on the sides. So what I would really love to use this for is for the inner corner of my eyes to kind of set either my my concealer and or even blend out the concealer but the contour part of it you can always highlight down here or even contour and then it's perfect for right the center of your eyebrows like come on now this is like perfect this is the thing let me grab this one back here so this is a beauty blender and this is the pure cosmetics contour sponge the green one now looking at it this beauty blender is dry at the moment so the pure cosmetics is slightly smaller I like that it has like the name engraved in there too so it's like etched in um, so it takes shape with uh, the the sponge um, so pure cosmetics is uh, sponge is slightly smaller but what I want to do is, now that you see them side by side, and it literally it's just a smidge um, smaller, I want to wet them both and then compare them and see whether or not this one even grows because I'm not sure whether or not it grows. I haven't even read anything clearly. I opened the box with you guys. So I'm going to wet them both and then I want to compare them and see if the Pure Cosmetics one actually even grows. If it feels any different at this point, it's slightly stiffer, but on it, you, you really can't tell much of a difference in a sense. So I'm going to go wet them real quick. I'm going to come back, and then I want to compare them and see what it looks like. Okay, so I'm back. I wet both sponges. I can definitely tell a difference. So comparing the Beauty Blender against the Pure Cosmetics Contour sponge, 
I would say they're the same size now. The Pure Cosmetics basically grew and now is a baby adult. And so they are basically the same size at this point. Um, they basically, they absorbed water the same. The difference is this one bounces back so much quicker. Very bouncy. Bounces back. It's not stiff. I actually, it, it almost reminds me of the complexion sponge by Real Techniques in that sense where it just bounces back. But it does feel slightly different. Uh, whereas this one, it does bounce back, but I don't know if I got a defected one or what. But, it, you know, this one's softer. This one's a little stiffer, but this one's slightly softer, which I like. Um, so, I think these sponges are going to be amazing, and I like that we got three different colors, so I'm really excited for that. So, let's review everything that we got in the box and how much it retails for. The Rodeo Drive Highlighter by Ofra Cosmetics retails for $35. The Blend Squad 3-Piece Contour Blending sponge Sponges by Pure retail for $36, so I'm happy we got three. Okay, so the trio is $36. Then we have the concealer palette by Measurable Difference, and that re retails for $19.99, so 20 bucks. To be honest, that's super affordable. So if you're an aspiring makeup artist and you really do like that and you wanted to replace it because you hit pan with some of them or you kind of need a new one, super easy. Just dish out 20 bucks. That's awesome. And super affordable. The Lip Gloss by Cargo Cosmetics retails for $16. I would have never thought it was $16. I would have said $10. And then finally, the Hair Girt Smoothing Yogurt Shampoo by Hair Girt by Project Beauty retails for $10. So overall, this was a really good box. I'm actually, even though I'm excited to try everything in the box, I'm really kind of... Wanting to try that shampoo, and that's weird for me. Like, whenever I get a BoxyCharm box, I don't care for anything that has nothing to do with makeup. Like, you'll send me some skincare, I'll give it a try. But I'm really looking forward to the makeup or the cosmetic brushes or something to that effect. And we got sponges, but the fact that I'm excited to try that shampoo says something. It smells so good. Like, so good. You have no idea. Anyway, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I will be following up with another video basically piggybacking this one and I will be trying out the products now the hair shampoo I will just kind of give you guys an update because I don't think that I can film I do this all by myself the editing and everything so I don't think I can film and wash my hair at the same time without damaging my camera or my equipment so I will give you guys an update with the shampoo Everything else I will be using on camera and showing you how they work, how they blend, how they apply, if they're really opaque, if they set well, you know the deal. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.